would say even heroes have gravestones is probably the the one. I mean, I think that even though we never put that song to radio, uh, when Justin and I finished that one, we felt like we this is this is one we're really really proud of. You know, uh, it's very personal um, uh, to us, and so I don't know how it's hard to you never get to see that song from the lens of someone that has never heard it, right? So I don't know if it would be special to them, but I think that uh, the more personal you are in your writing, the more people connect with it. So if I had to pick one, I think that'd, that'd be the one. We formed probably something that we both felt like should have happened long before it did. The timing was right though. Matt and I both grew up playing in the church and then eventually leading worship at the same church and at different churches. And You know, music's always been important love of ours we kind of went our separate ways and he was in contemporary rock band and i joined the blues band and we did that for a while and then it wasn't until ray lamontaine uh, god willing and the creek don't rise the record that came out that sort of spoke to us and he gave it to me for christmas one year and he said listen to this and listening to it i thought man this is music we need to be doing whether it's for profession or just outlet, maintain sanity kind of thing. And so it was 2012 that we finally decided to start the band. And there within a month, we had Taylor and Taylor came up with the band name, Market Junction. And it felt right because we kind of conjoined from different areas and felt like it was a name everybody could identify with instead of the Justin Lofton band, right? <laughs> so I'm joking. Anyway, that's our formation. and. Uh, we set out to do it for fun and we're still working on it.